What's up, peeps? My Biff's here. Today we got two pods, yeah. Ooh, you're all excited. Let's cheer it on, baby, yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what the hell I'm doing. That was for Steve. I'm his cheerleader. Anyway, two pods here. He's happy because of the lanyards. You'll see that during the up and close. Oh, Vaporesso, they sent them to me. It's the Cross version 2 and the Cross Mini. So, let's go to the dive down. Let me show you guys everything about these. Come back, vape on it. Then I'll give you guys all my thoughts on the Cross 2 and the Cross Mini. And here's the packaging, the Cross version 2 and the Cross Mini from Vaporesso came in. And this is sample packaging. Came with two mods in here and some other accessories. Not sure if this is a retail box. We shall see. But let me show you guys what came inside here. We got user manuals and warranty cards for both. Lanyards, type C charging cable. This holder for your mod, look at that, huh? You put the lanyard thing in there and you, yeah, it holds it. Pretty cool, Steve's gonna like this. Two pods and the two devices with pods pre-installed. And here's the pod that was pre-installed. It's a 0.8 resistance, holds two mLs of V-liquid. It's got top fill. Snap it like that. Membrane there. This little hole is for air to escape when you're filling it. Now the other coil that's in the packaging is the 1.2 ohm. It's the same exact coil that you see here, for the exception that there's red here and no red there. And yeah, like I said, 1.2 ohm here. And here is the Cross version 2. So it's a built-in 1000 milliamp hour battery. See it says Cross 2 there. You got your Type C charge port there. Over here you're gonna have lights. This is for your battery indicator. Vaporesso for branding. Do you have a fire button here? one two three four five see that powers the device off one two three four five that powers the device on the pod goes in there you're gonna see over there where's it say they're made in china sample all right magnets nice grabby magnets on there this one here does have airflow adjustment so right now it would be fully open or you could shut it down and just use the two small holes that are on the side or like i said you could open it up like that to give it extra airflow or fully open now the mini version also has a 1000 milliamp hour battery, type C charge port there. But the difference between them, this one and the other one, no fire button on here. This is strictly auto draw device. And the only airflow you have is that little opening there and there, no airflow adjustment. It's the same battery for the exception to where they took the fire button out and the airflow control off. As you could see there, if I line them up height wise, that's because from here up, this is your airflow control apart. Batteries in both are the same. Now, one thing to mention inside the mini version here, is that what it's called, the mini? Yeah, the mini. It's gonna come with the 1.2 ohm resistance. So if I'm not mistaken, this pod here, the mini will come with two of the 1.2s. I think that's the way it's gonna be with this. And then this one here comes with one 1.2 and the 0.8. So like I said before, filling this is super simple. Pop the top, grab your nozzle, Stick it inside there and fill. And there you go. That was the Cross version 2 and the Cross Mini by Vaporesso. Let's go up on top. Let's vape on them and I'll give you guys my thoughts. And there you have it. That was the up close of the Cross 2 and the Cross Mini by Vaporesso. Mike, your thoughts, pros, and cons. The only con I have with the Cross 2 is going to be basically the same con I had with the Cross Nano. That's a different device. I'm not sure if you guys will see that video first or this one here, but you'll hear me talking about it in that video. Also, it's got the same airflow system to where that slot becomes then a circle. If I want to vape it inside the slot just to give it an extra, like the way there's one little hole here, one little hole there, and put one little hole there inside that slot, I get almost like a whistling sound effect. It's a light whistle. Let me put it in position right now for you guys. Hopefully we could duplicate it yeah i'm not sure if it picked it up right there it's very slight i think i get it more with the nano version than this one here that's the only complaint i really have with it you know other than it would be nice if you're able to replace the coils but i know that's not a con people want to throw away the whole pod i get it i'll keep it there now pros with these devices obviously going to be 1000 milliamp hour battery I think that's awesome for a size pod like this, like this, especially this one is small and it's a thousand milliamp hour battery. I think that's awesome. Type C charging, also gonna be a pro. Now, when it comes to the mini version, the airflow is a tighter MTL pull. Let me have a hit. That's with the 1.2 ohm coil that's inside here. And over here I have the 0.8 coil. Now. 
to duplicate that, all I got to do is shut the airflow off and vape this one. Now, what I could report is when I do shut the airflow off on this one, I still get, it's the same openings on the sides, the little holes, but there's air escaping from here. It's not because it's off. You're still getting some air going through. So this feels to have a little bit more airflow when it, the airflow is off than this one here. Now, that's where this is the weird part is that this one's a tight MTL. This one, I like it with the airflow off. I don't need to open it up a little bit to give myself that extra airflow, like the way I did with the Nano, which like once again, I don't know if you guys are gonna see the Nano review first or this one here first, but anyway. Yeah, so I like the way the airflow is when it's off on this one here. This one here kind of feels a little bit on the tight side. I like it, but I like this airflow better. Now, looks, I like this one better. I like the texture on this compared to this just looks plain my opinion they should like somehow combine both of these into one yeah anyway let's have a vape auto draw on this and fire button draw this one here will have strictly auto draw so the people that like a tight mtl strictly auto draw you'll enjoy this one here for those that want a custom airflow and want a fire button to be able to power the device on and off and occasionally do an auto draw without pressing the fire button, this one here will suit their needs. All in all, I'm getting a good throat hit from these. I'm getting good vapor, getting great flavor. And another pro to these are gonna be obviously, they're both top fill, no rubber plug. That's a big pro. And there you go, that was the Cross 2 and the Cross Mini by Vaporesso. In the description below, no links to these. Not allowed, it's the good old YouTube policies. We'll have links to me, Mike Vapes, down below. As always, that's it. I'm done. Thank you and remember, be safe and keep on vaping.